In a major leap for global Earth observation, the NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar, a NISAR, satellite is scheduled for launch on July 30th, 2025. Aboard India's GSLV F-16 rocket from the Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sriharikota. Jointly developed by ISRO and NASA, the 2,392-kilogram satellite features dual-frequency radar L-band and S-band for high-resolution all-weather day and night imaging of Earth. NISAR will deliver near-real-time data on natural disasters, climate change, and ecosystem dynamics, supporting not just India and the U.S., but also global emergency response and environmental policy efforts. The NISAR, NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar, satellite marks a historic first, a major Earth observation mission jointly developed by the U.S. and India. Symbolizing over a decade of close NASA-ISRO collaboration, NISAR exemplifies how global partnerships can drive groundbreaking science. Fusing NASA's penetrating L-band radar with ISRO's surface-sensitive S-band radar, NISAR's dual-frequency system offers unmatched precision in tracking Earth changes from forest density and glaciers to soil shifts and natural disasters. This hybrid capability makes it a powerful tool at the intersection of environmental science, disaster response, and strategic interests. NISAR goes beyond traditional satellites. Equipped with sweep SAR technology and a 242-kilometer wide swath, it can detect movements as subtle as a centimeter in any weather, day or night. By delivering constant, high-resolution imagery, NISAR is set to transform how the world monitors climate change, land subsidence, and seismic activity. Disaster management tracks quakes, floods, landslides in real time to guide rapid response and resource deployment. Climate monitoring measures glacial melt, sea rise, and permafrost changes to refine global climate impact models. Agriculture forecasting monitors crop health, soil movement, and irrigation for early drought alerts and yield predictions. Urban planning detects land shifts and structural stress to help safeguard cities, dams, roads, and bridges. Forest conservation penetrates vegetation to map deforestation, forest health, and illegal encroachment on biodiversity zones. ISRO and NASA have committed to making NISAR's data freely accessible within one to two days of capture and in near real time for urgent events. This open data policy will be especially valuable for developing nations that lack access to high-end Earth observation systems, enabling better climate planning, resource management, and disaster preparedness. The mission also marks the first time a GSLV rocket will place a satellite into sun-synchronous polar orbit, a technical milestone for ISRO. This achievement expands India's launch capabilities and opens new pathways for supporting diverse international satellite missions in the future. We are going to launch uh, NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar Observatory, which is a unique technique related to radars and this radar has been jointly developed by ISRO as well as NASA that is Jet Propulsion Laboratory Pasadena, California and Space Application Center Ahmedabad have developed a two frequency synthetic aperture sweep SAR system where uh, Space Application Center Ahmedabad has developed S-band synthetic aperture radar and Jet Propulsion Laboratory California has developed the L-band synthetic aperture radar. So these two radars have been integrated on a single satellite platform and uh, which has been developed by our URSC Bangalore Center and the integrated satellite is now ready for launch on board GSLV tomorrow on 30th July evening at 5.40 p.m. And uh, this is a 
historic moment for both ISRO as well as NASA because it is a joint collaborative project and uh, considered to be one of the costliest mission ever built, uh, costing around rupees 13,000 crores. And uh, it is going to be launched by ISRO tomorrow. And uh, it is a classic example of collaborative effort between uh, two great democratic countries, India and United States of America, and as well as a collaboration between NASA and Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. And uh, for us here at uh, Space Application Center Ahmedabad, it is a very proud moment because first time uh, we are having collaboration between uh, NASA and ISRO as well as uh, Space Application Center and JPL for launching a radar system and it is a unique type of radar system because it has a lot of applications especially related to land deformation studies, ecosystem structures, disaster management as well as environment monitoring, oceanography, cryosphere and a uh, uh, lot of activity related to land deformation studies will also be carried out using the data available from these two synthetic aperture radars, especially in interferometric mode. And uh, there is a lot of excitement among all the scientists of the whole world because it is a science mission, so data will be available free of cost to all the researchers and scientists of the world. And uh, there is a possibility that in future, some scientists may evolve a technique uh, using these interferometric data which is available from these two radar systems uh, of NINISR so that uh, in future we may be in a position to predict earthquake. So that is going to be the biggest uh, area of research from the data available from this particular radar system. So as I said, both ISRO and NASA as well as the whole world is very excited about the launch of this particular satellite system.